Then the next one is lightning button group. So far we have seen the lightning button, button with icon, disabled button. Now the next one is a button group. What is the button group here? So button group is, if you compare to the, like a, if you look at this, whatever we have implemented and the one which is available on the Salesforce site, look at this, right? And the one which we have implemented is, there is a space between the each button. There is a space between the each button. This is normal button, right? But if you look at this one, on the record level, when you see the record level, when you see the record level, the each button is linked to each other. There is no space between the each buttons. There is no space between the each button. Everything is a combined. Everything is combined. So the, this is called as a button group. This is called as a button group. Now in this button group, if you want to implement a button group, you have to use the component or a tag which is called as a lightning colon button group. You need to use lightning colon button group. So lightning colon button group, it represents the group or a set of buttons. Group or set of buttons. Now, what are the components are there here in the lightning button group? This is the main heading of the, like a, it's a kind of a parent, right? Now, inside this, we need to write a multiple buttons. So what we have here, I have a group, right? This is a group. Within that group, I have a buttons. Within the group, I have a buttons. The structure of the this tag is you will have a button. Now within the button group, within the button group, you have a each button. Right? So this is the button group. This is button group. In that button group, you have a this is one button, this is the second button, and this is the third button. So we are combining the buttons into the group. We are combining the buttons into the group. Inside this button group, if you observe, there is another one which is called as a, some arrow mark is there. Here we have an arrow mark. Till this point we have understood. Each button I am combining into the group and showing the buttons into the group. Now here I have a option here. One arrow mark is there. This arrow mark. What is this arrow mark? Now if I click on that arrow mark. If I click on this arrow mark. What will happen? Few more buttons are displaying it here. Few more buttons are displaying it here but here it is a individual buttons are there it's not a button group it's here individual button so here there are two types are there this is button group till this point button group within the button group we have a multiple buttons are there right each button i have combined it and displaying the each button within the group and the next one which is having a arrow mark which is called as a menu button menu if i click on the button menu it will open up the menu different type of a button menus it will open up. now how do i implement button group and as well as the menu so for the menu we have a separate tag which is called as a lightning colon button menu lightning colon button menu it represents the buttons that when we click on that menu or a drop down action it will show the list of the buttons. It will show the list of the buttons. Right. So inside this button menu, we have a each menu item. So button menu, menu item. An example. Let's go to the developer console. Click on this new lightning component. 
Now let's click on the lightning component and LC. Here it is a button group. Button group. Con submit. And our component, let's say I'm going to create a button group, lightning colon, button group. Within this button group, I'm going to add an individual button. Lightning colon, button, let's say label equal to, let's assume the button name is log a call. And title equal to, let's say base action. Now, what is the title here? Now we will show that title. Now, next we have a, another button. I'm going to add a, another button. Lightning colon button label equal to quick action or a quick contact. Similarly, I'm going to create a lightning colon button label equal to new note. Okay. I'm going to test this component. Let's click on the open resource. I'm going to call this component from the app, the app which we have created, Lightning application. Open this Lightning application. Then I'm going to call the new component, which is called as a, how do I call the component? Flower braces, C core. Mm, okay. Arrow, C, C core. core. Component name. Component name. LC underscore button. Now click on save. I'll click on a preview. What's happening here? It is showing the log a call, quick contact, and new node. Log a call, quick contact, and new node. Now, what is happening here? Now, it is displaying the different structure altogether. Right? It is displaying the different structure. What is the reason here? What is the reason? Default size. Default size. Default size. Now I'm already using it. Now let's say here, if I place this button group on the lightning, it works perfectly fine. If I try to open this component, what are the components that I have implemented? If I use that component here, it works perfectly by, by, works fine, right? It displays it properly. It displays it here. But when I'm using the same component in the Lightning application, it is showing me in the different format altogether. Layout design. So basically, when we are using the application and we are displaying the components in the application, this is for the testing purpose. When we use it, that time what we have to use it, we have to use a keyword called extends. Extends equal to force colon SLDS. That means apply all the styles related to the SLDS to the application. In this application, which are the component I'm calling it, apply all the stylings related to the SLDS to these components. Now I can see these options are available here. Now these options are available here. Now everything gets converted, right? So what we need to use, extends equal to SLDS, a force colon SLDS, force colon SLDS.
let's comment out this one. This is the button group. In this button group, we are calling the different buttons. Just to identify it, what I'm going to do is I'll add a variant. Variant equal to, let's add the brand outline. On save. R I A N T. Variant spelling. Same thing I'm going to apply it for the different one for all the buttons. Click on save. Refresh. Now this is a button group. Inside the button group, we have added the multiple buttons. We have added multiple buttons. Now I'm going to add a menu item. That means here I'm going to add one more button, which is called as a menu item, button menu, which is nothing but button menu. It will display the arrow mark here. So in order to add that, what I'm going to do is I'll be specifying here in the developer console. Now within the button group itself, I need to add it. So lightning colon button group sorry button menu within this button menu i need to add a different type of a buttons i need to add it right so if i see here button menu i need to add a menu item i need to add within the menu menu item Lightning, colon, menu item, label equal to, new case, item, let's say I'm going to display the three menu items, new contact, new opportunity. Now let's refresh the application. If I refresh the application, it is going to display the, this is the menu item, right? This is the menu. If I click on this menu, now what will happen? It is showing me the different option it is showing here. So this is exactly what we have in the Salesforce also. In the Salesforce also, this is exactly we have. Right. So here, if you want a border, you can add, add a variant. So if you add a variant, it will show the border. But this is exactly the same, whatever the sales force is provided. If you want to implement the same button group, you need to go for a button group. Inside the button group, you need to specify the button. And then you need to add a lightning menu, lightning button menu, lightning button menu. And inside this menu, uh, button menu, you need to add a menu item. You need to add menu item. Uh, Ma'am, menu item is uh, similar to button or is yes. it a different kind of thing? Yes, similar to the button, but only the thing is that menu items are hidden by default. 
Okay. So if we have a 10 buttons and we want to uh, put five button into that arrow, so we again have to uh, add into a menu. Yes, menu item. You need to add it inside the menu. What is the title are to read in the button? Title, if you hover it. Now let's say if you hover, then it is going to show you the title. So if title I want... is nothing but a hovering. When you hover it, what kind of a information do you want to show it? So per quick action, if I hover or per new note, if I hover, it is not displaying anything. But if I hover the log a call, so it is displaying the title. And one more thing, what I observed is uh, the border is blue color here, whereas in sales was black. So how to change that one? The border Sorry? of the, the border, border of the you border. wanted to change it. So if you want to change the border, instead of using the variant, use a CSS, HTML CSS, different color. So if you want to change it here, this is a default one. Right, so go to the inspect. Now here we have it. Brand, which is nothing but a outline is available. Let's click on this. So you can try here inline colors or whatever is there. You can change the values. So I can give style equal to like that I can give in that uh, uh, lightning button menu. Uh, I mean, the button. Try here, different styles will be there. Font color, if you want to change the font size, font color, or if you want to change anything, you can specify here font size equal to inherit or a different. Like this, you can apply it. Your CSS also, you can apply it. Similarly, the border color, if you want to change the border color, you can change the border color. So there is a CSS will be there. So border at the bottom or a border on the entire box or border image. Or do you want to inline color or a, anything? If you want to change it, you can change the different information. So similarly for this, you wanted to change it. Click on this inspect and the, add your own border. Like here we have a SLDS button icon border. So there is an icon border is there. So for the icon border, try to identify here icon border. So for this icon border, whatever the border is available, if you want to default border, if you want to change it, just identify it and change the name to it. Border style, if you want to change anything, if you want to add dashes or anything, right? So group, hidden or anything, if you want to add it, so you can add like this. You can change it. You can apply your own stylings also. You can apply it. If you want a color, you can add a color as well. So this is by default out of the box of the HTML style. Those are, you can make a changes to it. So, so far what we have learned, so we have learned so far, I have a button group. Inside the button group, I have a buttons. There are different buttons are there. These are the different buttons. And then we have a menu, button menu. In this button menu, if I click on the menu, it is going to display the menu items. It is going to display the menu items. So the top one is a button group. And these are the individual buttons. Button one, button two, button three. These are the individual buttons. And this is a button menu. Button menu. And these are the menu items. menu items. Perfect. Again, inside this menu items, we have a subheaders 
or a dividers. We have a divider, subheader, so many things are available in this menu items. Now we'll see that. Now let's go to the subheader. 